Well, the changing guidance from officials on mask wearing and social distancing is weighing heavy on those gearing up for the start of the new school year. So many parents want to know what this academic year is going to look like. Dr. Deborah Wortham, she is the superintendent of the Roosevelt School District on Long Island, is joining us. Nice to have you with us, doctor. Thank you so very much. It's my pleasure. So what are you going to do with the mandates? What are you thinking for the fall? Well, we're going to follow through. We have always said that learning, teaching is a science. And what we've heard throughout this pandemic is to, is to pay attention to the science. And that's what we're going to do. We're paying attention to the science. We're going to mask up. We're going to continue to um, follow through and bring our children, children back in person following the guidelines, but bring them back in person. All 100% in-person learning. All 100% in-person in learning. And, yes. and, and last semester was a hybrid, right? Because a lot of people complimented you. They said that you did a fantastic job on Long Island. Yes, we did. And we had 60% of our students enrolled in hybrid learning. And we know that as the conditions uh, improved, we had more students coming in in hybrid learning. And we just made sure that our young people were focused, focused, and focused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's really hard for young people just to be focused in these day and age, especially with phones and Instagram and everything. But talk to me about maybe a response to Governor Cuomo. No, he mentioned that if the variant does increase, that schools may have to reverse course on in-person learning. Have you gotten any word from him or any officials on what number you'd have to reach in terms of infection rate to where you have to go back to in-person learning? No, not at this time. But one thing that we do know, we learned a new word and that word is pivot. And that we have to be ready to pivot to uh, remote instruction. And even the New York State Ed ha has given us an opportunity to participate in a pilot. For instance, you can determine if you're going to have snow days, that your snow days will be in-home instruction. So we're preparing for that. And we're, we've learned, as I've said, to pivot and to make sure that we continue seamless instruction. I have to ask you though, what are the reactions you've gotten from some parents? I mean, it can't all be good, it can't all be bad. I mean, give me an honest, uh, maybe a story from a parent that's, that's had a difficult time with this remote learning this past year. Yes, one parent actually, uh, I had a conversation with a parent of a student with special needs. And initially she said, this just is not going to work with him learning at home. Sometime later, she called again and she said, but my son is doing a fantastic job. Actually, we found his niche and we really did a story behind that. We did uh, a video with um, the parent and the student Encourage, encouraging our community that we're going to continue on and fill in the gaps. So yes, we've had the good and we've had, let me make some recommendations. Hmm. What about any mandates for teachers uh, in the fall? I have one, one word. The, one of our teachers at the beginning, like the student and the parents said, I'm just fried. I'm just fried. This, this, we, didn't, hmm. we didn't learn this. But we learn the merit and worth of relationships, building relationships. This is not something that you can do alone. We learn to work together during a quarantine, and we've learned to really support one another in many, many, many different ways. Actually, we were successful because we took advantage of a crisis and not to work in isolation, be quarantined, but reach out. Will you, are you requiring vaccinations for those that can get it? We didn't say require, but we made, um, what do you say? We, we made accommodations. We uh, made appointments for our staff members and students. We just had held a fair in the community advertising with um, Northwell Health that you can go and receive a vaccine. So we made availability. We have a partner with our community members 
Even I went to get the vaccine. <laughs> oh, good for you, doctor. All right. So, I mean, you're not going to set up any vaccination centers right in the school, so it makes it easier for parents, kids, teachers. That's the goal. We are planning, we're working together with our community liaison to actually have a vaccine ban. Oh, mm. good. All, All right. right. Superintendent Roosevelt School District, Dr. Deborah Wortham, thanks so much for being here this year and, or with us this morning, and good luck for the school year. Thank you so much.